Good Monday, Makers. It's time for another episode of our weekly build showcase series. This week, we're checking out five community builds that were shared recently. They're really unique, so let's just jump right in and start checking them out. First one is from Mike, and this is a mini PC entertainment system. He said, I love your product. I'm building a divider for a taxi cab out of conduit, but first I had to build an entertainment system. Really cool, and uh, sounds like a, a really great use of conduit and connectors. And it's going to be awesome with the divider, but this is already really cool. It's a mini PC. You can see here, this uh, black box here is the mini PC. And he basically built this frame. I love the, the yellow and black combination. That's uh, a classic taxi color. And he's using some of these clamps here. These are really interesting. I don't know. It looks like that's a mount made specifically for this monitor. Uh, and it's, you know, just made to clamp onto, you know, rods or pipes or different things, or maybe even like a flat you know, piece of wood or something, but he's got it clamped onto the conduit. Looks like a, a great solution to hold that monitor in place. He's got some cable management going around and, you know, secured them to the pipes in different places. And yeah, it looks like a really nice, cool thing that he's going to have, I'm assuming, in the cab. He said the divider was going to be for the cab, but I'm not sure if this is. I would imagine so with, uh, you know, the yellow and black and everything. But it seems like a really cool thing that you're going to have in the taxi for the people that are riding along to be able to use the mini PC and have an entertainment system. So really awesome and just a really clever use of connectors and make this compact, you know, little entertainment system with uh, just a few connectors. I can see some T's, 45's, uh, kind of making a triangle here. And then he's got some end caps to finish off the pipes. Overall, just really cool. Really great build. Thanks so much, Mike, for sharing this. Really awesome to see. Next up is a project from Why Not Build It on TikTok. This is really cool. We sent some connectors and minis to them a while back. Uh, he wanted to build some different, you know, RC car racks and just some unique storage solutions. And for now, he's just kind of done some prototyping and then also a really interesting build, which we'll look at here in a second. But first, he does kind of an unboxing. There you can see the mini connectors and he starts checking out the tools and some of the other connectors. And here he starts modeling um, I think this is going to be the shelf that he's planning to hold the RC cars and stuff. And he's actually downloaded the STL, file, STL files that we have on the website for the minis. And he's used that to plan out the shelf more in depth with really cool models of the RC cars, as you can see here. He made this little model using the, the T connector file and the 9 degree connector file uh, for the minis. So that's really awesome. And then he used PVC pipe inside the connectors. If you don't know, you can use different sizes of pipe with the connectors. You just have to pay attention to the diameter of the conduit size that they're designed for. And then the, the diameter of the pipe that you're wanting to connect into them. You just have to compare those diameters and shim the gap and do whatever's necessary to make it work. Uh, as long as it's less diameter, then you can make it work. If it's you know too big, then you can't use it with the connector. But in this case, it looks like he's using PVC pipe, probably half inch if I had to guess with just a little bit of a shim. And he's using something really interesting. He's got a short stub of PVC sticking out. And basically he's just adding a pull noodle to the edge and it's gonna go around and kind of create this loop all the way around and connect on this side. And he's making drone gates for his tiny whoop. And that's really awesome. I used to love flying tiny whoops. It's been a while since I've flown. I really need to get back into it. I love doing that. But tiny whoop is just a really small drone like fits in your hand. And you can fly it around FPV and you can see through the goggles. It's really awesome. Maybe I'll see if he can send some footage over um, if he's got, you know, DVR from it. But nonetheless, it's a really awesome thing to keep in mind if you want to do something like that. You know, if you want to make an arch maybe for your garden, you could do something similar where you have the connector that goes up and you could do uh, like the PVC circle or arch or you could do the pool noodle and kind of connect it on the ends the way he did. But that's really cool. So he's going to be doing some garden builds actually soon. So maybe we'll see those again and get to see those builds. But really awesome. Thanks so much for sharing that on TikTok. Really cool to see. Next up is something really awesome from Rich. He said that he and his dog are a part of a local search and rescue team. And they've been doing it for several, several years. And his dog, Jake, that's a good name. Me and the dog have the same name. That's awesome. <laughs> but he said that when they were, they're kind of just waiting for you know, something to happen, for them to be deployed and sent out, that they're just kind of stuck waiting. And if there's really hot weather, temperatures get up, then they're just kind of miserable chilling there. So he wanted to make a roof rack that has a canopy that expands and will just provide some shade to the truck while they're sitting inside of it. And he incorporated so many cool hacks into this. It's really awesome. Here we can kind of see 
uh, some of the pipes connected. He did a parallel pipe solution using some of these hose clamps that we've talked about on the channel in the past. We did a video on these. I'll link down below uh, so you can check out if you're interested. Um, but you can see he's got rails going around um, that connect to, it looks like there was already some sort of roof rail or some kind of rack in place. And he adapted the connectors to fit on the brackets here, uh, these flat brackets. And that's how he connected the main part of the rack. As you can see here, there's a flat bracket and he's got it connected uh, to the T connector. I'm not entirely sure how, but it uh, looks great. And then he's also got some of these crossover clamps. He said these were something he found. I'm not sure where, but they're uh, an interesting solution for a crossover clamp. But he had to shim the gap. He said they're made for like one inch OD, which is larger than three quarter inch empty conduit. So he had to shim the gap a bit. And he said, uh, but they, they worked pretty well. And then he used some of the telescoping clamps to make this canopy be able to extend and do all kinds of really awesome stuff. Let's just skip to the video and we can see it in action because it's just really cool. Here it is. It's kind of in position on the roof, kind of all stowed away. Then he undoes the, uh, he undoes the uh, telescoping clamp on both sides and that allows him to slide out the the side the wing and he has you know one on each side so we can do the same thing on the other side then he's able to um take down the adjustable leg and i think he does that with i'm not entirely sure we'll see here in a second um but he's explaining the telescoping clamps right now but then we're, we're gonna go to this oh he's got the Vel velcro strap holding it takes that off and then the pipe will swing down and then he's got another telescoping clamp on the bottom of that vertical that he undoes, and that allows the leg to deploy and extend and touch the ground. And he can secure that in place. Here it comes right now. He's about to, you know, take it out. And there it goes. He's got some wrap on there, or maybe that's PVC paint or something like that. Not entirely sure. Uh, but then he's got the the sunshade that he'll he'll put on top. And that's an adjustable angle connector that he was using to make that swivel arm. Oh, it goes out even further. <laughs> oh my gosh, it it really does extend. There's a nice wide shot of everything. Wow, so it comes out from the rack, swings down, then extends even further, and does the same thing on the opposite side. So basically, he's able to turn this whole rectangle into a canopy or sunshade for him and Jake while they're sitting and waiting to be deployed. That is just super cool. So many clever solutions incorporated into this and uh, really great ideas if you're looking to do something similar uh, or even if you have any kind of build that you can utilize, you know, telescoping or adjustable legs, that's something that's that's really cool to keep in mind. So thanks so much for sharing that, Rich. Next up is a build from the Bacon's Rebellion. They said this is a work in progress, but it's still cool to see and really awesome. And I don't know if you remember the Bacon's, but we actually did an interview with them and we did a van tour of their Sprinter van. I believe it's a Sprinter van. No, Promaster. Promaster van. And uh, they gave us a van tour and they showed off their really awesome maker pipe roof rack. And that van's actually for sale. And I have confirmed that it comes with the roof rack. So definitely check them out and check out their van, the Grasshopper, if you're looking to, you know, live the van life and do some traveling. It's a really great van and they've had it for sale and they're looking to, to fund their next adventure. So just check it out if you're interested. Uh, it's really cool and it comes with a sweet maker pipe roof rack. So really awesome. But their latest build is this box truck they're converting into a home and they've got solar panels mounted to the roof as you can see it looks like they're using uh, some unistrut different things to mount the solar panels and then from there they've added conduit to the outside of the the panels for the solar panels and maybe actually this whole rectangle might be all conduit i'm not entirely sure we don't get the best look at it but the the pipes go up and then they've got them bent and they arch up to the roof and then they're using 180 degree connectors and T connectors to add a rib to the middle of the roof. And we'll see a close up of that here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. So it, it arches up and then it's bent over and they've got the rib of the roof going all the way down. They've got a 180 degree connector and a T connector. And then they've got their you know material draped over the top of it and secured in place. And they said it's just a work in project. They said it's not finished, but so far it's functional. So looks great. And they're building a deck. If you don't know, a lot of people that do, you know, adventure vans or different trailers and different things like that and camping, they want to have a deck on the roof so you can sit out and look up at the stars and enjoy the night, which is really awesome. And they're building that out. And then they have the canopy that they can deploy if they want to sit up there and have some sunshade while they're, you know, eating or something. So that's really awesome. Really appreciate them sharing this. And again, check out the Grasshopper if you're interested in picking up a van. 
It's a really great one, and uh, the rack is cool too, but we appreciate them tagging us and sharing this build. It looks really sweet. Next up is a build from Kyle, and this is really cool. This is a, a loft kind of storage area that he has. Looks like maybe this is a, like a closet or a bathroom or something sits in the corner, and normally this would be a, an unutilized space and just kind of a waste of space, but instead he's converting it into a storage area. I'm calling it a loft. And as you can see, he's got some shelves in there with all kinds of stuff on it. And basically what he's done with maker pipe and conduit is create this railing and kind of guard to keep stuff from, you know, falling out. And what he's done is super clever. He's built a framework with flanges at the bottom, you know, mounted to the top of this room here. He's got the conduit verticals going up and basically just use T connectors and 180s to create the paneling. And here we can see it's got four total panels or slots for the panels. And the same thing here, except it's got two extras and then the flanges mounted to the wall. Looks really cool. And then he took some white pegboard and secured that to the frame using some of these custom 3D printed clips, which is super clever and a really great way to add, you know, a, a panel or, you know, a barrier inside of the frame. And it just looks awesome and just a really clever use of materials. Those clips are really sweet. I don't know if he linked the STL files if you wanted to print them, but I'll see if he wants to share them. Um, if so, then, you know, that'd be cool if you wanted to do the same thing. We can see here he kind of notched around the flanges so the panel's sitting there. And yeah, just all in all looks really awesome. Really clever use of materials. and looks like a, a great railing for this storage area. Super sweet. Thanks so much for sharing that. Awesome job. That's all the builds I have for you this week. Hope you guys enjoyed checking them out. I know I did. As always, you guys are doing really cool stuff with conduit and simple materials, and it's just awesome to see. Hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.